Hey y'all, it's your girl Pretty Miss Marcia and today I am going to show you guys how I wrap my um deep wave or deep curly frontal wigs at night. But it's not my hair done today and I'm a photo shoot this weekend so I just want to make sure that you know my stuff lasts a while. I did a video about this before but it was on my hair page. So it's only right that I do a video like this on my personal YouTube channel. So let's get right into it. First things first, I'm going to move the hair back soon. I'm gonna show y'all why. So first thing I need, if y'all don't have one already, you need an elastic band. I just got this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. You don't have to get this many. Three came in a pack. Oh. Did three come in a pack or did only one come in a pack? I mean two. Here's an elastic band. I thought it was thicker than this when I ordered it, but I guess it's not. It's whatever it goes. So it's a velcro strip, as y'all can see. And then I am just going to take this and put this. Sorry if I get a little too close, y'all. I want to make sure I'm putting it like where the frontal is, if that makes sense, where the lace is. So I'm going to move this Scratch that. First, we're going to tie this baby down. Because it's deep wave, curly, deep curly. You want to make sure you separate it and twist it down so that it don't get matted. You can do this with any texture for real, for real. With the body waves, I'm sorry I'm sniffing y'all. I cleaned the bathroom and the bleach got all in my nose. But you can do this with any texture, but especially like the curly and deep waves, you want to twist this baby down. You don't want to twist her down so she don't like matte and tangle and because regardless, it don't matter how good the weave is, deep and curly textures, wavy textures, they're going to end up like tangling more than like your straight or your body wave. Just because it's curly hair, that's what curly hair does. That's the nature of curly hair. So, oh, it's so pretty. Just to prevent all of that, we're going to tie it down first well you can braid it down i twist mine because i'm not a good braider and i'm pretty lazy so we just gonna twist it down like so <laughs> oh y'all i'm so sorry y'all ew i'm so sorry y'all does does bleach do that to y'all like you know too much bleach and i'm I bleaching down baby i use a whole bunch of bleach on my own I'm going to the bathroom mess with my nose and my eyes. Does it like, is that like a bleach sensitivity or is it just how bleach is? Comment down below and let me know. Am I running? I hope I'm not running, y'all, and looking nasty. Don't nobody want that. Okay, then we're gonna move it back and y'all see where like the lace is. I thought this was thicker when I ordered it, y'all. I really did. I guess it's thicker than the one that I. Hey, so you're just gonna take this and I like to do this in the mirror, but I'm gonna try to do it here. And you're going to place it, oh, it's thicker than I thought. Place it around like so. And make sure it connects to the, the other piece where the Velcro is supposed to attach. Make sure it's pretty tight and snug, y'all. I wanted to cover this as well, but it's okay. I know how to fix my baby hairs. And you don't want to do it like that. So it's nice, flat, and keep you looking good. Next, I'm so sorry for sniffing y'all. Let me get a towel. I'm being so disgusted. Oh, I'm so sorry. Be having me sneezing and stuff too. 
that topic is that all these little feelings pop up but anyway i have a scarf so you want to get you want to get a silk or satin scarf and you're going to want to see where your party is and all of that and i'll put the light flat you're going to want to actually we're going to get this little baby here too because you want that to be secure you're going to want to place the like so and kind of like kind of like lift your head up to like where I don't know, to where like it just kind of tight on you if that makes sense lift your head up and then tie it around like so I do a simple tie and as tight as you can stand it not to where you start getting headaches and stuff but just have it tight so with the elastic band on and with this on we super secure you feel me hold on i want to actually let me take my earrings off because i want to make sure oh wow clear back just fell on the floor i see where it is though if i slip one more time I need to go get some tissue. I'm irritating myself. And now, this is tied. That's tied. We got Alex to in it. We're going to take a bonnet. Uh, a hair brand sent me this bonnet. So I just use it. I ordered a wig from one of my vendors. And yeah, they sent me this. And actually, this is so the bonnet is actually too big. It loosened up, so I got um Dylan. Sorry, y'all, my video cut off, but I got a hair tie, like I said, and I just tied it together to make it tight. So now it's tight and secure. But if you want to, you could put a second bonnet on top to make sure that no hair slip out and that you're good. But yeah, that is how I tie down my frontals at night. My frontals be lasting me a good time and. Yeah, if y'all have any tips and tricks on how to tie y'all frontals down or anything that y'all know that I didn't do, comment down below because this ain't no gatekeeping channel. We want to help the other sisters keep their frontals laid as well. But that's all I have for y'all. Thank y'all so much for down below and share y'all tips. Until next time, love y'all.